Hey everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel and I'm excited about the month of November. I'm standing next to a piece of art that I purchased in Lagos, Nigeria. Why? Because I'm thankful that God has enlarged in my territory. What are you thankful for? Your health, your strength, your employment, your business, your ministry. You know what I know? There is so much to be thankful for. And this month, allow us to usher you into the spirit so you can thank God for what he's done already. Because if you thank him for that, there's no telling what he's going to do. Stay here with me on this YouTube channel. I'm excited. I want you to pay attention to what I'm about to say to you. That the Bible commands you to thank him. I'm going to slow down. You are ordered to thank him for what he has done, what he is doing, and since you are a people of faith, you have to thank him in advance for what he's going to do. We don't wait until he do it. We are people of faith. And he doesn't command you to thank him. He gives you reasons to thank him. You can thank him because his love endures forever. Even when you were trifling, he never stopped loving you. Even when you were disobedient, he come on here. He said, you should thank him because, watch me, he is good. There's so much that you could put under that good category that we shouldn't have to beg you to thank him. You should thank him because his mercy is everlasting. Every time you mess up, mercy come and grab your behind. And when mercy get tired, grace come and rescue you. Come on, lean in a little bit. Thanksgiving and praise go together. You can't praise and worship God and not thank him. And you are, I want to make sure I'm clear now, you are commanded. It's not an option that you are supposed to thank him for what he's done. You're going to thank him when it's good. You're going to thank him when it's bad. You're going to thank him when you're up. You're going to thank him when you're down. You're going to thank him when you're having. You're going to thank him when you don't have it. You're going to thank him when you have friends. You're going to thank him when you feel. I will bless the Lord at. Come on, nudge your neighbor and say, you're commanded to thank him. If you study scripture, the first um, poetry or the first song of thanks that we hear is from Moses and Miriam when they crossed the Red Sea. And if you study the scripture, he doesn't just um, wait on them. He gives them a reason. He takes them through a process, watch me, to build up your resume, build up your checklist so when you finally get there, you're going to lose your mind giving God glory. Some of y'all, he's done enough already that if he don't do another thing, this I recall to my mind. Those of you that, have a, that, that already know he's a God of miracle signs and wonders. I need to make sure that you sit next to somebody that nobody has to pump you, prime you, beg you. When I think, I need you to get one thing on your mind that you know that nobody did but God. Lift your hands, open your mouth, and release your... You had to go through something to get that. You had to go through something to get that thank you. You had to cross over some things to get that thank you. You didn't just come up with that thank you. It was a process. I'm going to take you through a process to build up what I need up out of you. I'm not just going to expect it. 
I'm going to take you through something. And if you study the scripture, I can show you how the pro after he delivered them out of Egypt and they finally get free. He says, okay, now you're free. Now, I need to take you through a process because there's another thank you that I need to get up off of you. I can show you the process in Exodus 13 and 17. It says, when Pharaoh let the people go, watch this, God did not leave them on the road through the Philistine country, though that was shorter. I'm going to take you the long route. I'm going to take you the long route to get your career. I'm going to take you the long route to get your house. I'm going to take you the long route to get your anointing. You're going to get it, but you're not going the short route. Because there's some things I want to do for you in this process that's going to build up your thank you that when you finally get it, For God said, if they face war, if I give it to them too fast, they might change their minds. The, the symbol is warfare. They'll turn around and go back to Egypt. So God process led the people around a dry place, a desert, toward something that looked like it's going to block you. So I'm going to take you around a dry place and I'm going to put you in front of something that looked like it's going to block you. And all of this is part of your process to get you to your promise. It's the process. It's the long route to get you the way I'm taking you. Why am I doing that? This ain't about you. This ain't about you. Can I show you why? Exodus 14 and 4. I want to gain glory for myself. Exodus 14 and 17, and I will gain glory. So when I take you this process, and I bring you out, and I take you to your promise, I'm going to step back and look at you. And watch me, and I'm going to watch you, make sure that I be glorified. People are going to be watching you. Watch me, and when they look at you, you're going to point them to me. When they look at you, how did you get this? How did you make it? How did you cross over? So watch me. So he bring them out. I want glory. So now I need you to take your paper out because I'm going to do some things and I need you to check it. I need you to check it. I need you to check it. Keep up with my hand. Keep up with how I keep making a way. Look for me in every situation and know that this is me. Get my glory out of your life. Those of you that want God to get the glory out of your life, do me a favor. Lift your hands for just five seconds and just keep saying, be glorified, be glorified, be glorified, be glorified in my career, be glorified in my family, be glorified in my decisions, be glorified in my city, be glorified in my job, be glorified in my body. So they're standing there. And he, in this desert, and they got the, the Red Sea in front of them. And Pharaoh's army behind them. And it's almost like they stuck in between. And Moses said something. Now, hold on. He's done too much that I need you to know what I'm about to tell you. Do not be afraid. Just stand still. Don't, don't go back and forth. Don't vacillate. Don't believe that. Don't talk crazy. Don't be a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. If you were shouting before, shout now. If you believe before, keep believing. Stand firm, and you will see. Open your eyes while you're going through. Pay attention to everything. You will see the deliverance the Lord will bring to you, not next year. This thing is about to happen on the first Sunday of November. God's about. The Egyptians 
what hands you mouth, what caused you stress, what she was worried about. The Egyptians you see today, I want to get this straight. Come on, look at me. You'll never have this issue again. You'll never be broke. This sickness that had you, it won't come back. Come on here. Things that used to get on your nerve, they'll never get on your nerve again. This will never be your issue again. And I don't know about you, but some of y'all should praise God for that right there. When I deliver you from depression, you'll never have to deal with it again. When I deliver you from anxiety, you'll never see it again. I need you to reach over and prophesy to two people. Tell them, you'll never see this again. I rebuke your fears. Sitting up waiting on cancer to come back. It's not coming back. You sitting up waiting to have an anxiety attack. You'll never see it again. You sitting up waiting to be in debt again. You gonna be the head, not the tail. Turn and tell somebody, you'll never be broke another day in your life. He's not going to have do nothing. What he started, he going to finish it. I wish I had a thug in the building. I wish I had somebody that know how to pull your shoulders back. Come on, baby. Hold on. Hold on. Sit down. Sit down. Come on, you're ready. You see, say totally delivered. Come on, say completely out of it. Come on, say, not weak to it anymore. Ah! Some of y'all not out yet. You should have went into a praise. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see that thing again. How do I know? The Lord. You can't, you can't beat this, but the Lord. You tried to stop doing it, but God's about to destroy the yoke. The Lord will fight. Yay, Shia. This is only part of your process. I got to get my life together. I've got to hold on. The Lord. Have a seat. Have a seat. While you, look, while you sleep, he fighting for you. While you taking a nap, he... Behold, I'm the Lord God of all flesh. Is there anything? Okay, let's get our list out. Sit down. I got to calm down. I told you this was too much. I told you this was too much. Okay. I done got caught up on this ain't, this ain't my fight. I win even when it looked like I'm losing. Stop, stop. Stop.
On your way to your seat, tell your neighbor, it's a fixed fight. And you've already won. Hey, Jabari, it's a fixed fight. And you've already won. All you got to do is stand still, open your eyes, and get your thank you ready. <laughs> Practice your thank you. Let me see what you gonna do when you get it. Cause it's a big fight and you already won. Stop, stop. Stop. Turn this on. <laughs> you ain't gotta have no music. Up above my head, I get music in the... On your way to your seat, ask your neighbor, do you have a thank you yet? blocking me in front of me, but I just got a promise. Get my thank you ready. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Because everybody not thanking me yet. Jabari, don't you turn no microphone on. Sit down. Sit down. He about to come up here tomorrow. You so big, fun, and I already won. Sit down. That song was prophetic. Speaking to you based on what you're dealing with right now. Now sit down. Gotta move real fast. Gotta move real fast. Sit down. This is the atmosphere. We gonna have all month. This is the atmosphere. Okay, can we please stop? Everybody not, everybody not up. Everybody not up. 
Everybody in our room. Stop, Danny. 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 It's your fault. I blame you because I told you this was too much. Stop. <laughs> Can y'all please sit down? <laughs> sit down. Stop. 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 Please. Please. Please, stop. This is so wrong. So let me tell you what I do. Let me, let, me explain. let me explain what I do. So sometimes, even while I'm praising God, I know how to scan the room. And I still see too many people not giving them thanks. So there is... I just need to explain to you, because I want you to get a checklist of what he's done and what he's doing. So have a seat, because by the time this is over, everybody get up. Listen. <laughs> by the time this is over, everybody go. Listen. Sit down. And whenever I say something, if you could relate to it, I need you just to say check. So they stand in front of the Red Sea, and the enemies are behind them, and they're not all the way up to the Red Sea yet. They're going into panic attack, and then the Bible says, and God sent an angel. And the Bible says, for those of y'all, the Lord led you, or he's leading you. In verse 19, it says, who have been traveling in front of Israel's army. So God put an angel in front of them, and all they had to do was follow the angel. And how many of y'all know you did not end up where you are by circumstance? Your steps have been ordered by the Lord. You work where you work because he led you. You live where you live because he led you. You married who you married. Can you just look at somebody and say, check? <laughs> then the Bible says, when the enemy got close up on them, he shifted from being in front of them and then jump behind them. And the reason that he got behind them was to protect them. Look at me, this ain't your fight. This ain't your issue. And is there anybody besides me? He has literally protected you. Watch me, watch me. How you live in Chicago and there's so much violence. Violence ain't my issue because he giveth his angels charge over me. He protect me. Yea, though I walk through the valley and the shadow of death, I don't fear no evil. Why? Because he got my back. Anybody in the building know he protected your name. He protected your business. He protected your children. He protected your mind. He protected your body. He got you. Things are hitting everybody else, but it won't hit you. Those of you that know that God has protected you, look at somebody and say, check. Okay. Woo! Woo! So he led you, check. He protected you, check. Watch me. So when he got behind him, you got to get this. Imagine a cloud being right here. But this is the back of the cloud. You here. Your enemy back there. But the cloud is right here. This side of the cloud is all darkness. It's all dark back here. Why does God let it be dark back here? Because he wants to blind your enemy. So although you in front of them, look at me, they can't see you. They don't see your progress. They don't see your elevation. They don't see how cute you done got. And you keep trying to show them what God keep blinding them from. Because if they see it, they're going to want to strip you. <laughs> he don't even let your family see how much money you got. He don't let your family see how far you've come along. He don't let the one you used to date see that you don't even want them no more. Can you? If, he, if he's blinded your enemy, can you say check? 
Watch me. Watch me. Ready? 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 Watch me. Watch me. So the cloud is right here. So back here, it's dark. It's dark. He blinded them. Watch me. But over here, in front of the cloud, he's giving you light. What is he doing? Please look at this. He's showing you your way of escape. They can't see how you're getting out of it. They can't see why what they're saying don't affect you no more. They can't see. They can't fire you. They can't see. Watch me. Because he's giving you a way of escape. Is there anybody besides me? There were some things that got some other people, but it didn't get me. If you don't open your mouth, it hit your family, it hit your friends, but it did not get on you. If you know that God gave you a way of escape, say, check. Okay, hold on. Sit down. Some of y'all look slow. So we're going to back up. If the Lord led you, can you say, check? If the Lord protected you, can you say, check? If the Lord blinded your enemy, can you say, check? If he showed you your way of escape, can you say, check? Now, here's the line. Here's the line. Ready? Ready? He distanced you. He caused such a gap between you and what used to have you. Look at me. Uh, let me let me let me give you some. Some of y'all need an example. There's some things that used to make you fight mad. It don't hit you like that no more. Come on, let's go over here. There's some things that used to keep you up at night. Not just some things, it's some people that used to have you tossing and turning. Now you in a semi-coma because they don't affect you no more. Wait, 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 wait. You used to worry about what people thought of what they said. You used to worry, oh my God, I wonder what they said about me. Now you walk in like, I wish a ninja would say something to me. I said ninja. I said ninja. I used to worry about meals. I don't worry about nothing. I used to worry about people. I'm good. There's a distance. Did you hear what they said? I heard it. Did you see how they looked at you? I saw it. Did you feel that? Yep, I felt it. <laughs> well, how come you ain't saying that? Because I don't feel it the way you feel it. Because no weapon formed against me. I need you to look at somebody and say, I'm good, I'm good. Check. Check. Okay, hold on, hold on. This is the craziest thing to me. This is crazy. So they stand in there, and some of the Israelis, Israelites, they haven't, they're not checking. They're not checking. But they're giving in to the pressure, and they start screaming. Ah! They start having emotion to fit. And God, Moses looked at God like, come on, God, what up? And sometimes leaders, you got to be careful that you don't cause your followers to put you under unnecessary stress that you can't do what you do. And the Lord said to Moses, come on, look at me. Bruh, what you crying out to me for? What is that in your hand? What have you always done that has worked for you? And about, this is a check. And God used you. How did he use you? Not in a normal way. And he stretched out his hands. Hold on. Hold on. Have you ever just been in church and out of nowhere? Have you, have you ever just been at home and out of nowhere? Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Do you not know 
every time you use your spiritual weapons, he used you to push back darkness. There were some things that were supposed to hit you, but you messed up and said, glory. How did you get free? All I can say is, I need you to make sure you sit next to somebody who the enemy don't have their hands tied down. But if I can't say a word, that's what your grandmama said. If I can't say a word, I could. Every time you wave your hand, it pushes some things back. Every time you wave your hand, it go in the, in the realm and begin to move some stuff. And some of y'all are waving your hand. Your name just hit somebody's spirit. <laughs> As you was waving your hand, the next time you go to the doctor, they won't see what they see. Everybody that ever did something that didn't make sense, but God used it. Can you just say check? All right, let's go. I told you, Reverend Jamal, this was too much. If the Lord led you, can you say check? If the Lord protected you, can you say check? If the Lord blinded your enemy, can you say check? If the Lord showed you, showed you a way of escape, can you say check? If there's a distance between you and what used to have you, can you say check? If God ever used you to do something stupid like wave your hand, can you say check? Question. Question. What else does he have to do? I mean, how much more, how, how, how much more do you need before you give him a standing ovation? How much more does God have to do for you? Just to get a reaction. I mean, just to get a, just, can, can I get a tear? But I don't want them looking at me. They ain't did nothing for you. As a matter of fact, they were your warfare. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, God, Jamon. So then when he, when, when, when he do all that, then he say, okay, I got it from here. I got it from here. So then he do something. So when he waved the hand, water went up. He dried it. He, 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 he divided it. And there were some things that were supposed to stop you, but God split it and pushed it to the side. He pushed your past to the side. He pushed your family curses to the side. What is he doing? Now he drying the land so you could have a walkway. Watch me, watch me, because you're going to walk through stuff that should have stopped you. He divided it, then he dried it so you could walk. Watch me, this is why you can't be walking around like this. No, 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 because he must be glorified. When they see you, you got to be like. Woo! Which means your worship is on display. And some of y'all, he don't like what he's looking at. He needs to see. I divided it, I dried it. If he moves some stuff out your way, can you say check? If you went into some areas that you know you ain't had no business going in, can you say check? This is when it get real good. This is when it get good. But I'm going through right now, Reverend. I'm struggling right now. You don't know what I'm dealing with. Look at me. You can't tell me he gave you all these checks to give you an X. <laughs> you can't tell me that you had checked off all these things and now 
what you're dealing with now? Do you not know that if the enemy's messing with you any kind of way, look at me, it's a trap. Come on, lean in. It's a trap. It is literally a trap. Can I show you? Because Pharaoh them saw God divide the Red Sea, saw God dry the ground, and now they halfway there, and here they come into the Red Sea. And the Egyptians pursued them. Question. Look at me. Let me see my guy. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Who are you that he keep coming after you? He has left everybody else alone. Everybody else has moved on. But every time you get one foot forward, here he comes pursuing you. Please hear me. And then you got to watch how he keep coming after you. And all Pharaoh's horses and chariots and there's three horses and chariots and the horsemen followed him into his deliverance. What is it about you that the devil want to say, oh, these demons to shut you down. All these chariots and horsemen to come after you, to got to get you, to stop it from making it to your destination. Please hear me. Who are you going to be? What are you going to become? What does your future look like? That question. Do, you must really have a Canaan waiting on you. That the enemy, he couldn't kill you in Egypt. Now he want to kill you in the middle of your blessing to stop you from getting to your Canaan. You can't tell me. Ooh. Stop. Cameraman, you finna work today. I need you to hear me. I need you to hear me. I need you to hear me. You gotta hear me. It's a trap that he let the enemy get this close to you. And it's supposed to be pressure. It's supposed to be stress that the enemy get this close to you to try to take you out. And some of y'all, it feel like a weight sitting on you. You come through too much, and the enemy feel like he got you choked in. You better hear me. This is not your ending. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. You were supposed to die when you was in your 20s. You were supposed to die. You were supposed to have a nervous breakdown in your 30s. <laughs> You, let me tell you something, you so powerful that the devil hit you when you were a preteen to try to shut you down, but it didn't work. Hold on, my shot. Hold on, my side, I'm sorry. No chariot, no horses, and no horsemen have been able to shut you down. Everybody under any kind of stress right now, I need you to lift your hands and worship God for the next five seconds. Five. It's a trap. This is 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 a trap. Get my iPad. Derek, get my. This is a trap. This is a trap. This is a trap. This is a trap. But he up on you. But he right in your territory. But he in my house. But he in my finances. But he messing with my body. But he messing with my mind. But he messing with my ministry. But he messing with my business. But he messing with my name. But he messing with my reputation. This is a trap. 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 Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Please listen. Ready? So he let the enemy get this close up on you. And then he do something to mess me up. The Bible says, watch me. He confused your enemy. Watch me. He get this close and forget what he was supposed to do. He get this close and forget that you're the main target. He come in your house and think he got the wrong address. He hits your kids and realize I forgot these. Are these your kids? He confused your enemy. This is why when you go to work some days, some days they're your friend, some days they're not your friend. Some days you're family, some days you're not family. Yep, they're crazy, but guess what? God is in the crazy. <laughs> ah, he's confusing 
your enemy. This is why some of y'all get phone calls from people you used to deal with. One minute they like you, next minute they don't like you. One minute they want to be your friend, next minute they don't. Stop, stop, stop. They crazy. That's God. That's God. Because they don't mean you're no good anyway. And you ain't got to put your hands on them either. God's about to settle this mess. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. If the Lord led you, can you say check? If the Lord protected you, can you say check? If the Lord blinded your enemy, can you say check? If the Lord showed you a way of escape, can you say check? If the Lord distanced you from what used to have you, can you say check? If the Lord used you in spiritual warfare, can you say check? If the Lord divided some stuff for you so that you could cross over, can you say check? If you went into some areas that you know that you had no business going into, can you say check? If you felt some stress now that you got in it, can you say check? Can you admit that it didn't work? Can you say Everybody get on your feet. How much more does he have to do for you? For you, look at me, to just be thankful. Watch me, everybody look at me. He doesn't want your money right now. All he want to hear you say is, some of y'all, I need, I need to give you this one last revelation. Because some of y'all, it was supposed to hit you last month. That thing was supposed to take a toll on you. Hey, Rachel, it was supposed to push you out of your seat. It was supposed to make you lose your faith. But you can't explain it, but I'm going to give it to you. He slowed your enemy down. There's one line. There's one line, Lane, that messed me up every time I read this scripture. And I need everybody to hear me. That there was some stuff that was supposed to hit you like a tsunami. It was supposed to overtake you. It was supposed to flood you. It was supposed to destroy you. It was supposed to destroy your house. It was supposed to destroy your energy. It was supposed to destroy your focus. But something happens. The Lord jammed the wheels of what was chasing you. <laughs> and he's given you time to get up out of your seat and to give him a thank you. And if you don't give him a thank you, he gonna unjam the wheels and you gonna get what you've been waiting on. I'm gonna give you a minute. Everybody release your own individual, no music. Thank you right here. Go. Go. Give me five more seconds and I can tell you what I see. Five. Something's closing in front of you. Come on, come on, come on. He's done too much for you. He's done too much for you. He's done too much for you. Come on, come on, come on. You're the head. You're a leader. You're a leader. That's the pressure that go with being a leader. You're the head. Everybody, open your mouth for five more seconds. 
Something's closing. 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 We gotta go. We gotta go. Give me five more seconds, I got my reasons. Give me five more seconds, I got my reasons. Forget about what's chasing you. Forget about the pressure you've been under. Give me five more seconds. And I'm going to show you what I see. Your worship is bringing about a closure. Your worship is sealing it. Your thank you. Can I show you something? Can I show you what was happening in the spirit while you were worshiping? Can I show you what was happening in the spirit while you were worshiping? Can I show you what was happening while you were saying thank you? Because while you were saying thank you, while you were saying thank you, he was closing this thing out. The waters flowed back and covered everything that was chasing you. The entire, he didn't let nothing stay alive to come and get you later. The entire army of Pharaoh that had the nerve to come after you, Not one spirit will survive it. Era shake rosoto mashata mashata. Have I done enough? Have I done enough? Have I done enough to get a thank you out of you? Have I done enough? Do I have to keep doing it? Or do I, do I need to move on to somebody else? Have I done enough for you to tell me thank you? Or will you focus on the horses and the chariots instead of focusing on your God? How long are you going to keep looking at the horses and the chariots when you got a God? Okay. 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 Look at me. Look at me. You ready? I hear your murmuring. I hear your complaining. I hear your grumbling. And the Lord says, I'm issuing a warning that I will give you one month to fix it. One month not to magnify the enemy. One month to not blow up what's going on with you. One month to thank me. Because I've done enough for you. When they close that thing up, the Bible says, and Moses starts singing. And the Israelites begin to sing. Can you bring that scripture up in 15? 15 is nothing but praise towards the top of it. Bring that 15th chapter up. I want you to see this and I'm done. Jabari, come on out. We're gonna, I don't know what you're going to sing. You're going to do something. 15 and 2. 15 and 2. 15 and 2. Okay, I guess I got to look at the side. The Lord is my strength. He is my defense. He fights for me. Everybody say, he fights for me. 
he has become my salvation. He saves me out of the hand and the trap of the enemy. He is my God. And all I got to do, all I got to do, see, he did all that. He's my strength. He's my defense. He's my salvation. He's my God. What do I have to do? All I got to do is praise him. Thank him for being my father, God. All I got to do is exalt him and not exalt the chariots and not exalt the horsemen and not exalt the Egyptians and not exalt the problem and not exalt the trouble and not exalt the sickness and not exalt the debt. The debt. All I got to do is he's done enough he's not going to start delivering you and let you fail in the middle of it he going to complete what he started go Jabari tragedies are Commonplace. Anybody want to come to the altar? All kinds of diseases. People are slipping away. Economy's down. People can't get enough pay. But as for me, what you gonna say? All I can say what? is thank you, Lord, for all. Come on. There are folks with our homes. What else? we living in the streets. What else? And the drug habit some say. They what? They in this can't be. They are mothers and robbers. What? No place seems to be safe. You've been my protection. Where? Every step of the way. So what you gonna say? And I gotta say thank you. What do you do? You keep on keeping me. You keep on what? You keep on keeping me. Keep on what? You keep on keeping me. So what you going to say? So I got to say thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. God made it fast. God made it fast. Everything. God made it fail. God what? God made it fail. It failed. God made it fail. Everything that the devil tried. What did he do? God made it fail. Yeah. And all he wanted is a thank you. And all he wanted is a thank you. Thank you. And all he wanted is a thank you. Gotta say thank you. And all he wanted is a thank you. All he want is a thank you. Thank you, Lord. Done too much for you. You owe him a thank you, Jesus. I'm going to give you an opportunity. I'm going to give you an opportunity. You about to push back the darkness. The horses and the chariots are about to fail. On the count of three, release the best thank you you have. One, two, three, go. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for what you've already done. Thank you for what you're doing right now. Thank you for what you're gonna do. If I had a thousand tongues, it wouldn't be enough. So with the one tongue I have, 
God say thank you? Clap your hands and get lost in a thank you. Dive into that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You can get lost in that. Get lost in it. Thank you for my health. Thank you for my strength. Thank you for my peace of mind. Thank you for my joy. Thank you for my blessings. For the blessings of the Lord that get rich and added no sorrow. Every good and perfect gift come from you. So I thank you for every gift. I thank you for the calling. I thank you for the ministry. I thank you for the business. I thank you for going out and my coming in. I thank you that when I lay down, you give your angels charge over me. I thank you for my health. 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 I thank you for the activities of my limbs. I thank you for peace in my soul. I thank you for peace of mind. I thank you for peace of mind. I thank you for peace of mind. I thank you that I'm not crazy. I thank you that I'm not in a mental institution. But I thank you that you keep those in perfect peace whose minds are stayed on you. I thank you for my joy. I thank you for my joy. For the joy of the Lord. I'm trying to give you a reason. I can do this a whole number hours. Thank you that I live where I live. Thank you that you didn't let death come knocking on my door. Thank you that a mother or a robber never came nowhere near me. Thank you that you blocked every attack of the enemy. Thank you that no weapon formed against me has been able to prosper. Thank you that you tore down every lie. Thank you that you stopped the lie of the enemy. Thank you that you fight for me. Thank you that you defend me. Thank you that you put your angels over me. Thank you that I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I don't fear. Thank you that I don't have a spirit of fear. Thank you that I'm not scared. Thank you that I'm a warder walker. Thank you that I'm out of my comfort zone. Thank you though I walk through. Everybody get a reason on your mind and release the loudest thank you you have. One, two, three, go. Come on, walk back towards your seat. And tell three people, God's been good to me. Check. God's been good to me. Check. God got in front of me. Check. God got behind me. Check. God gave me a way of escape. Check. God jammed the wheels of the chariot. Check. It didn't work. Check. I'm still here. Check. I need you to find three of the checks around you. Look at someone say check. Look at your second person say check. Look at your third person and say check. This is part of my process. This is everything that I had to go through to get to where God is trying to take me. Can I hear what a check phrase sound like? Should have had me check, but I got a way check. The devil should have had me check, but I got a way check. Turn your hands. 
hands again and just say thank you. I need to get out of here. I wish you were sitting next to somebody that shouldn't even be where they are. I wish you were sitting next to somebody that don't qualify for where they at. But God! We gotta go, y'all, please. I'm sorry. But I keep putting a demand on your thank you. One more time on the count of three. Release the best thank you you have. One, two, three, go, go. The Lord is well pleased. Everybody that knows that you don't deserve it, but the favor of God is on your life. Release a thank you right there. Go. this thankful category I think I could just rush out because I start thinking about everything I start remembering stuff I forgot about I know y'all ready to go. Stop. Just play the guitar. Play the guitar like we shout. Hold on, I, I want to hear more guitar. second thank you dance can I get those of you that can dance to give God 30 seconds of you just releasing a 30 second dance go Everyone, take the victory sign and give a wave right there. Put your flag of victory up. There are about 10 people in this building. Everyone's standing. Okay, I need some water. I am a pit bull when I get in this kind of vein. And I don't apologize. Because thank you. Just stay right here. You're good. You're good. So thank you. Just shake my hand. Just shake my hand. Thank you is a part of prayer. And you can't be a prayer person 
and not get stuck on a thank you. Every intercessor, every warrior in prayer, just open your mouth and say thank you. Yeah, my see on me. Everybody that he's ever answered one prayer that you prayed. Get out my sake, young no fire, no so cut out my face. Come on, lift your hands and say thank you, Jesus. get you to cross over with us. There are about 10 of you in the building. You've been feeling the pressure of the horses and the chariots in your warfare and your problem is real. You're supposed to feel everything that you feel. But he allowed the pressure to get you here so that he can get you out. And the worst thing that you could do is stay in it when he's called you out of it. Some of y'all have been feeling like the walls are caving in. You feel like you've lost, but God sent you here to explain your life. And if you know I'm talking to you, you want to accept the Lord, number one. Number two, there's some of y'all that's already saying, but this is the army. You can't live this life by yourself. You need a village. You need a group of people to walk through with you. If you know I'm talking to you, don't make me beg you for it. Get out of your seat and start walking towards me right now. Move. 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 Come on up here. I got you. Get out of your seat and start walking towards me right now. Get up. As you get up, it's almost like you're stepping out of every burden and every problem. Get up out of your seat and start coming towards me right now. Move. Move. Here come the man. Move. 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 Here come the man. Move. Move. Come on. It's still coming. Everyone else have a seat and begin to prepare your tithes or your offering. It's still coming. It's still coming. For those that are on the altar, can you do me a favor? You're not here by chance or by accident. God ordered you here. I need you to turn towards me because we're going to take you in the back. There's someone online. I need you to get the QR code. I need you to scan it. And I need you to know that I have a team that's going to reach out to you. You can live in another state and still be a member. Come on. Who's, you're going to follow this gentleman right here. Give God a praise for souls.
Everyone that knows that God is your provider, say check. Everyone that knows that God has made ways out of no way, say check. Everyone that knows that your job is not your source, say check. make no excuses for what I have for what I have the Lord hath provided God's been good to us I want us to get our tithes ready on the first Sunday of the month as we start this series can I push some of y'all to give God an offering and it's a thank you seed it's a thank you seed some can sow 50 some can sow a hundred. It's no pressure. You want to know why? Because he gives a seed to the sower. If you don't have the hundred, he's not requiring the hundred. If you don't have the fifty, he's not requiring the fifty. But what if everybody gave God a thank you seed today? A thank you seed. This is not my tithes, this is my offering. Come on, everyone get a thank you seat in your hand. You could text the words NLC, SE to 91694. If you're on our app, you can give. If you go to our website, you can give. If you need the QR code on the screen, you can get that and you can give. But giving nothing should not be an option. I don't care if you don't have nothing but a penny, such as I have. Give I. Those that are watching us online, whenever you choose to watch this, if the word bless you, we want you to give God a thank you seed. And you could never give enough for what he's done for you. But I can give you something. Come on, Cain and Abel. But to give him nothing, that means no favor. But to give him something, that man's favor be put on your life. Come on, get your seat. Stand to your feet. Oh, my God. This thing has worn me out. Before you give your offering, lift your hands and tell the Lord, thank you. Every parent tell the Lord, thank you. Everyone that got a roof over your head, tell the Lord, thank you. Everyone that know that the hand of God is on your life, just tell the Lord, thank you. Okay. Okay. Lift your seat up. Okay. 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 I am going to do this and I normally stand here and hug but I can't I need to lock in this for a minute
if you're seen. Repeat after me, I'm a tithe and a giver. And I am blessed beyond measure. I have more than enough. I thank you that I'm living in my overflow. I thank you that I'm living in Ephesians 3.20. And I thank you that I'm going to live it for the rest of my life. If you have an envelope on your way out of the building to your right and your left, you'll see deposit boxes. Hopefully you text and gave, but everyone gave something. On your way out of the building, please pay attention. Look at the art exhibit that is in the lobby. It'll be there for the entire month of November. Keep me in your prayers. God bless you. Pray for Pastor Jamon. He got to preach the 12th service. Thank you.